Hi there, this is Morgan with Morgan Burke's Photography and Product Shop and today I'm going to show you um, a fun edit using Transcendent. Um, and so this is the photo I'm going to be working on. This is the after photo. Um, I wanted it to be really light, really glowy um, with a matte look down in the shadows. And so I'll show you where we started from and then I will show you how I got there. So this is, oops, sorry, there's my starting point right here. Um, this is after I had given her a little lip color and a little cheek color. Um, that's gonna. That's an actual um, upcoming action that I'll be releasing sometime in the near future. So um, I'll look forward to that, and um, I'll show you how to use that when it's released. Um, the next thing I did, actually, we'll go ahead and show you. There's the after. So we're gonna go from this kind of flat uh, and dull to something really glowy and bright. So it kind of looks dramatic when you flip it back and forth. Um, so I'm gonna turn all these off, and then I am going to delete them and show you. Uh, oops, sorry and show you how I did it. Okay, so here's how we started. Um, the first thing I'm going to run from, oops, that's not Transcendent, from Transcendent is Brighten Brush. And these ones, I'm gonna show you how I use Brighten Brush and how I use Darken Brush uh, in my processing. So the first thing I'm gonna do is zoom in here uh, to her face. As you can see, the face is definitely not the brightest part of the photo, but I kinda wanna make it that way. I want her to look really glowy, um, kind of like an otherworldly effect. So we're going to come in here and paint some brightness onto her face. Um, and instead of just painting all over her whole face, I'm going to be selective where I paint this on. We're at 10% opacity. And I'm just going to paint this on uh, to little areas here on her face where I think that light would fall. Um, it's almost like when you're applying makeup, I know there's probably some men listening to this who are like, yeah, that doesn't help me at all. But um, when you're applying makeup, you kind of want to make sure that the, the cheeks kind of pop out. Um, and then, you know, the bottom here has shadows and it kind of gives you a contoured effect. And so that's what I'm going for here. Um, I'm just kind of giving a little glowy look in certain spots. Here on the top of her lip, you can see some highlights fall there, a little on her nose, here on her chin. Um, basically just paint the, painting these in selectively, maybe a little brightening right here, um, just so that we can get some depth going on. Yeah, I'm going to paint a little bit more there um, and a little over her eye. There we go. Just giving her a little pop, a little glow, um, and kind of making it have some dimension to her face. Um, and you can do this process over here on the rest of her body as well, uh, maybe a little on her hand. The rest of her is kind of glowy already, so we'll do a little on her hand. Um, a little on this part of her leg, and then I think she's good. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is run Darken Brush. Or actually, sorry, no, I'm going to do Eye Popping first. And this one is another one of the paint in actions. Um, doesn't make any changes to you apply it. We're going to zoom in here. And sorry, I'm trying to be quick about this. It's a kind of a long edit, so I want to make sure I get it all into one video and don't make it too long. Um, okay, so we're at 10% opacity here. I'm going to up it to 20. I just hit 2 on my keyboard to do that. And then I'm going to paint eye popping over the brown part of her eye. I don't want to make the white too bright, the white part of her eye. So I'm going to sweep over that lightly, uh, but then I'll just keep going over that part. And then I'll do this one a little bit, but since that one's kind of in shadow, I don't want to, I don't want to do too much to it. Um, and then I'm going to put eye popping over her lips a little bit. It just kind of increases those highlights and gives it kind of like a glossy look. Um, and then, yeah, so I think that just kind of gives it a little bit of pop. So the next thing I'm going to do is run Darken Brush and hit play. And with this one, I'm going to do some contouring on her face just like I did with the highlights. But first, what I want to do is add some of this. I'm going to do 60%, so I hit the 6 on my keyboard. I'm going to add some of this darkening to the background. Uh, kind of give it a little depth here and pull her away from it a little bit. I kind of want her to pop away from it um, and give some sharp contrast. She's all nice and glowy and then around her is all dark and mysterious. Okay, so we'll paint it down in here. I do want to be mindful though of um, where I plan on. I'm going to add some light in here coming from up here. So I want the darker spots to be down here in the shadowy corners uh, and that kind of thing. So I'm going to zoom in here, and then we're going to do a little bit more contouring on her face with these shadows. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is put it back to 20% opacity, and I'm going to add a little eye shadow look here, just give her a little bit of a smoky eye just by painting this up there in that corner. Uh, and that just kind of also gives her eye a little depth. Um, that's where a shadow would naturally fall if you had the makeup on, and so it kind of increases um, 
the dimension that we're adding here. Another thing I'm going to do is go right underneath her lip. Adding some shadow here makes her lips look larger, uh, makes them look like they're protruding a little bit more. So, um, and then I'm going to do around her chin and then under here and her hair a little bit. Um, adding shadows around the edges of a face can definitely um, also create a slimming effect um, just by drawing the center of the face more into focus when you cast the outer edges of it into shadow. Uh, then I'm going to contour a little bit under her cheeks just to make the cheekbone pop a little bit. Um, and then, of course, you can keep coming in here and adding it wherever you think you want it, maybe a little on her neck. Um, you know, you could play around and just get in there with it. Um, the next thing that I'm going to run is cashmere. I want to bright, uh, brighten a little bit more, and this one's kind of an overall brightening. Um, but I don't want to lose that depth. So what we are going to do is we are going to invert this layer with control I, and we are going to paint this on where we want it. And so I'm going to do this at like 50% opacity here, or actually 40. And then just paint it onto her face a little bit, some here on her. And then I'm going to paint it over the background a little here where we're going to lighten later. Uh, and then, of course, you can also come in here and do a little bit more on her cheeks just to make sure you don't lose that, uh, that depth. Put a little on her nose. Um, and then some over her eye, too. You can also do this brightening underneath uh, the dark spots on the eyes. It just kind of uh, reduces the appearance of them a little bit. Um, so we can do that. And then the next thing I'm going to do is apply light painting. And we'll be able to do quickly. There we go. Continue. Okay, so then we're going to paint this one in. I'm do like 60% back here. And we're just going to paint this in, actually, sorry, I'm going to do 40%. I'm going to make the brush a little bit bigger. Just kind of sweep this in here where the light would come from behind. I'm going to do a little on her hair. Um, there we go. Okay, and then I'm actually going to go back to cashmere, and I'm going to put a little bit of that on her hair too, so it looks a little bit brighter, more like the light would be hitting. Um, and then what I'm going to do is run resonant and hit play. And this one, I'm going to reduce the opacity of this one to 60%. Um, just kind of want to make it not so dramatic. 60. I also am going to turn down light painting. It's a little bit drastic. There we go, about 55% on light painting. Uh, we're going to add in some more light um, on top of that in a little while. Okay, so then the next thing I'm going to do is uh, run Jabber, and that's to reduce some of the green tones that I'm seeing in her skin. Um, so we're going to run down here, hit play on Jabber, and this is going to put um, the blue tone over the whole photo. And in this case, I want to not do that. I want to control I to invert it, and I'm going to paint this where I want it. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is zoom into her face and get it off of her skin. And we are going to do that at about 10% opacity. So I'm going to sweep in here and just kind of um, reduce that green or yellow look. Um, just make it a little bit softer. That way her skin kind of stands out against the greenery behind her uh, and that kind of thing. OK, so then we're going to come down here, make sure we do it on her skin too. And can't forget this part of her body. Okay, and then you just paint this in, and it kind of softens that greenish look. So we don't have too many color casts. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to up my opacity to about 40%. I'm going to paint some of this in the shadows. I want a little bit of coolness and depth. Uh, I keep saying depth. I know that. I'm sorry. Um, a little bit of coolness in these shadows. Um, I want the light to be really bright and warm, and then I want these shadows to kind of have a cooler look. And you can also paint this over the grass and tone down the green on that a little bit too. Uh, there's some on her shirt. Okay, so there we go. You can paint this over more later if you'd like. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run Storm, and this one is going to give it kind of a moody look, uh, really soft and creamy. And I don't really want this over everything. So again, I'm going to control I and invert it. And then I'm just going to put my opacity to 70% and paint this. Uh, actually, I'm going to do less than 70%, do 40. And just paint this in. And I'm going to avoid this spot because this is where our light is going to be coming in from. So I'm going to do that part at about 20%, just a little bit lighter over there. Um, you still want it to have that matte look, so just so it's uniform, but I want it to be strongest um, away from the light. And so we're going to add some down here. 
and go over her a little bit at 30% opacity just to fill in those highlights and that brightness, um, but not to get rid of it too much. We do want her to be nice and glowy. So then we'll just paint it in there um, wherever you think looks good uh, until it has a nice look that you'd like. Put a little bit more up here in the corner, a little bit more down here. I'm just kind of eyeballing it, seeing what I think look, looks good as I go. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a copy of Brighton Brush, uh, these adjustments we made down here. I'm just going to drag it down over this little sheet of paper and boost it up and then I'm going to bring it up onto its own layer. Um, and this is definitely going to make her look way too bright. So what we're going to do is delete this layer mask and then we're going to add um, a new layer mask and also hit Control I to invert it. And then we are going to paint this brightness at 20% opacity, just nice and soft. I just want to make her make sure her face is standing out. I really want this uh, her face to be very bright, um, not you know blown out or anything, but just uh, bright against these um, the light that we're going to put in here. And then I'm going to add some more over her leg, just so she doesn't lose that that glow down there as well. And you can paint some over her shirt and then in this little corner I don't want it to be too shadowy so I'm going to brighten that a little bit too and that, I think that looks good. So the next thing I'm going to do is run contrast pop um, just to give this all a little bit of a color boost and hit play. Okay then put this at like I don't know 58% or so 58-60% yeah I think that looks good. And I actually am going to come down here to my darken brush layer where I painted those shadows on her face. And I'm going to take that off, um, just soften it a little bit at 10%, just to make sure it's not so dramatic. There we go. And then at 10%, I'll get a bigger brush and kind of paint that in just a little bit. Um, there we go. That way it's a little bit more subtle. I'm noticing the more we brighten that it's uh, it was a little bit off. So there's that. And we're going to go back to contrast pop. And... Oh, I already reduced the opacity. I think that looks pretty good. So the next thing I'm going to do is I want to add a little bit more color. So I'm going to use color painting and hit play. And hit continue. And then we are going to paint this, I don't know, probably like 50% opacity. Just paint it over her hair. Um, when the light hits the hair, it kind of gives it a more brilliant kind of color. And so I want to do that here um, because we are going to add more light. And I want it to be believable. And then I just put a little bit more of that uh color on her lips. And then we'll do 10% opacity and run this over her face just to give her a little bit of a, a boost there. Okay. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to run, actually I'm going to go ahead and add more light now. I'm going to duplicate light painting and I'm just going to drag it down here. And you could always uh, attempt to run light painting again, but sometimes it doesn't like um, having layers with the same names. So I just duplicate because it's easier than having to get an error message or something like that later. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete, actually I'm going to leave that and I'll just paint slightly like 20% opacity and get it to be a little bit more soft and kind of fade it out here. And there we go. I'm going to put a lot more up here in the corner just so it looks a little bit richer up there. And then there we go. And then I'm going to reduce the opacity of this when I'm finished. And put a little bit over the top of her head here. And don't forget the little spot. There we go. And then I'm going to lower the opacity of this one just a tiny bit. Uh, I think that looks pretty good. Like 41%. Okay. So after that, I'm going to run Enrapture, which is another matte action. I'm going to hit play on that one. And having the light painting layer below your matte action really helps it kind of get that glowy uh, look. And then you can kind of see if you need to go back in and add more of the light painting here. Just kind of get it to fade a little bit better and look a little nicer. So after I run into Rapture, I'm going to take this off at about 10% opacity. I'm just going to get it off of her. I don't want her to be too uh, faded or hazy or anything like that. So I'm just going to take it off of her a tiny bit. There we go, a little bit more in the hair. Okay. And I think that looks pretty good. So the next thing I'm going to do is I want to brighten a little bit more. Uh, you could definitely stop here. I'm going to do, like I said, a little bit more. So I'm also going to, actually before I do that, I'm going to come back here to Jabber because I'm noticing a little bit more green on her. And my brush is at 10% opacity. And I'm just going to brush this over her face just a little bit more 
um, just to get rid of some of that green and in her neck. There we go. And then over here on her arm. So yeah, I always go back and just play with these uh, layers that I've already got open. Um, if I notice anything that pops up later that's different, I'll just go back and adjust. Okay, so after Enrapture, I'm gonna duplicate Cashmere, uh, this one down here, and just add some more brightness up here. Uh, bring, drag it to the top of my layers panel. There we go, so it looks a little more glowy. It's above your matte actions, not below. And then I'm gonna delete this layer mask, and I'm gonna add a new one and hit control I. I'm only deleting the layer mask just so that it gets rid of my old painting and I can just paint it in fresh. So then I'm just going to run this over the top half of her face just like that and then over her hair and then more up here where the light is coming from. I just kind of really want to enhance that. And then you can also make it bigger and run right over here where the light is. So just kind of eyeballing it as I go. I thought it needed to be um, a little bit brighter and so I did that. And then I just want to make sure that um, we're not losing like the, the richness of our shadows here. So I'm going to run Punch, which will just give another little boost of contrast. And then I will reduce the opacity of this one uh, to like 60% or so. And so there is our after photo. So this is our starting point, and then this is our after. And then I definitely think I went a little bit overboard with the brightening on her face this time. I don't remember what my opacity was from my first edit, but I think I went a little bit overboard. Um, you can definitely come in here, find where your brightening is. There's one. Let's find cashmere. There it is. Um, yeah, we can always you can always take cashmere and just grab your black brush at 10% opacity and just take a little bit of that brightening off. Definitely over here where these shadows are. Uh, maybe over this eye, a little bit over that eye. You just want to make sure that you're not taking away too much of the dimension and getting um, rid of that because then the face will look flat. So, and then you can also take some off of her hair or you can even go down to darken brush and you can add some darkness to the hair if you wanted. Um, so, there is our final edit. Um, yeah, just playing around with Transcendent and seeing what I could come up with. Um, you can come in here and lower the opacity of any of these actions that you think look a little bit too dramatic in here. Uh, maybe this light painting version down here, turn this one down. Uh, I just don't want it to be, there we go, a little bit better. Yeah, so I just don't want it to be too harsh. Um, you could also come in here at 10% opacity and fade that in a little bit if you wanted. There we go. Okay, so there is our edit. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, you can email me at morgan at morganburks.com or you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash morganburksphotography. Thanks so much for watching.